Hey everybody, uh, this is Harish Swaminathan. It's Sunday, Jan 28th. Uh, it's in the evening, about 7 p.m. Wanted to do a quick market update video here. As you saw on Friday, the markets went up very, very big. Uh, the S&P moved up about 30 plus points. Now, what was the real cause of that kind of a move? We don't know. In fact, there was a GDP number that came out the, that morning and by any means, I mean, 2.6 is a great number, but the market was actually expecting 3%. And so in that sense, it was somewhat of a, uh, a disappointment and, um, and still the markets went up. There's a lot of things going on right now, but uh, there, there's really no reason why the, uh, the S&P should have gone up that much. And as you can see, it, uh, the, the, it also did it on low volume, at least the ES, and you'll see the same thing on the spider as well. You can see that this is a big move of uh, you know, over 30 points and uh, volume was very low. You know, I did a couple of analysis here and I just want to point out that now during this run, you can see from the beginning of the year, it's been bullish, of course, but look what, what the VIX has been doing. So the VIX, uh, of course, we know is a short term measure of fear in the markets. And you can see that the VIX has been going up as well. It's not a common thing to see the S&P as well as the VIX go up at the same time. Uh, it does seem to have pulled back, especially on Friday. But still, you can see that, you know, otherwise there are more green bars than red. And if you look at the historical volatility of the VIX, even that is going up. Then I put another study here. It's called the relative strength compared to the VIX. And so while this so what it measures is the relative strength of the ES as uh, measured to the VIX. So here also you can see the relative strength of the S&P is actually coming down. Of course, granted, Friday was a very big day. So you would see this. And the last one I want to show is the average true range. So the average true range is a real uh, calculation of how much up or down uh, a stock moves on a particular day. And you can see the average two range has climbed up to now 2122. So what this is saying is on a daily basis, the uh, range of the S&P is moving up to 22. So all of these are somewhat of, uh, yeah, of of signals that a big move is coming. You know, we don't know whether it's going to be up or down. We know there is a government shutdown uh, thing looming and that's coming up on Feb 9th. But even otherwise, I see the it, it, things are just a little bit extended, uh, more extended than it uh, you know really should be, especially this VIX, uh, which is a measure of the short term uh, fear in the market. So overall, all of this says that uh, uh, that there's something going on in the market. You know, now uh, the SPX now, as as we know, has three uh, you know three expiries, and so there's a way. And with such big moves, there's a, there's there's ways to really capitalize on these three expiries just from an intraday basis because on the last day of expiry option prices are low but uh, there's a lot of movement going on so which means uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, you know up and down you can whether it's calls or puts we can take advantage of them and so the next class of the expiry is coming up on Wednesday so uh, you, you can find the details on this link right here if you can click that link you'll find more information on this class but regardless, uh, it's uh, I think it's a time to be a little watchful on the market uh, because uh, this definitely is uh, saying something here. And of course, VIX is a short term measure of, of fear. So over the next month to two months is what the VIX is uh, actually measuring. And so you know that tells you there's something in the air. So time to be watchful and to take advantage. You can take advantage of the intraday SPX expiry day options. Thanks.